Hi there, once again on Google Cloud. Today we're going to be talking about role-based access control. So here just making a login, as you guys can see. Go to console, cloud shell. You see you have two accounts. So we're going to be switching the accounts. They have different permissions. One probe is owner, the other is just a viewer role. From the owner, editor, and viewer, etc., you're just opening to switch the switch the account. Just going to cloud shell. So while, so we're gonna just create some variables here. Let's go into Kubernetes. There is already a cluster. Let's create a cluster. No, you have already a cluster, sorry. There you go, a standard cluster one. It is exported as a variable. Let's get in and let's clone a project. Doing it, it's easy. Takes a while, there are projects inside. So now we're going to folder of the project. Let's see. Gonna deploy a couple of workloads. Perfect. Roll. You see, you're going to RBAC, Role Based Access Control. All right, let's see what we can do. There is no script today. I'm not following anything, just doing anything on the fly. So let's get namespace I have inside my, inside my cluster. The default one and all the others for the workloads, the master nodes, etc. So let's create. My name is Space Cloud Production. See, so just create a new name space, is active. Can describe it. Let's apply. This workloads. Let's get our pods. Nothing yet. No, sorry, there's Nginx. Running already on the production namespace. So we're gonna create a cluster role binding. Use the user. That lab, yeah, created the cluster role binding. That's got a role, there's a Paul Reader role. Okay, let's export second user. You see, um, there are two accounts. 
I'm logging in that I can switch. Let's do a set on this YAML file. Show you what has happened. I change it. Easy way to change the file using set. And now gonna switch. When you switch, it's better to close the browser previous tab. Now I'm in a different user. Let's get credentials to my cluster. Here we are inside. It's like if you click on connect, it's the same. Going down the folder. Let's check those damn space. Permission, you can see. There's no pod reader permission. That's the first thing. So now I'm switching back to the other user. It was just to show that. It's kind of a role based access control over Kubernetes cluster. Now we're gonna apply username, where it is our binding. Specify namespace in the default namespace. No, no, it's not in the default namespace, namespace production. So there's another role binding. Now let's switch back, switch it back. Close the other tab. Okay, production pod created since I'm in another since I'm in another account with the permissions. Namespace production is in inks and production pod. If I switch to the other, probably I can view the pods but I cannot create and then you can go to workloads. You can see which is the same, it's like get pods or get deployments. If you're in a the native Kubernetes solution you've seen in, in the deployments stuff. Here we go to the our namespaces. Cannot delete because it doesn't have thanks for watching. Bye bye.